The city is also working with community organizations in several Boston neighborhoods to improve access to healthy food, especially fresh produce grown in Massachusetts. During the summer, that mainly involves the return of farmers' markets. Our guest is connected with a market that's open every Thursday in Dorchester's Bowdoin Geneva neighborhood in partnership with the Bowdoin Street Health Center. We'd like to welcome as our guest from the health center, the Healthy Food Access Coordinator, Mara Shore Buffet. Thank you very much for being with us, Mara. Thank you, and thank you for having me. Start with the, the market itself. This has been going on for a, at least a few years now, yeah, right? Yeah, the market started in 2008, and we've been going since then. What about uh, the selection here? Because this is a neighborhood that has a lot of mm -hmm. immigrants, so uh, they must have some foods in mind that they'd like to have that, that'll like what they're used to, right? Absolutely. So we really try to work with our farmers early in the season as they're planning. So we're talking about the winter time when they have a little bit more of a relaxed schedule. They're starting to think about ordering their seeds. So we work with them to think about how to plan out their fields so that they're uh, working to plant more kind of culturally appropriate foods, so a lot more collard greens, a lot more kusa, summer squash, for example. Um, and, and actually, it's very exciting. This year, we were selected as one of nine markets citywide to play host to fish at our farmer's market. So this is a brand new initiative that very, you know, it's wonderful that the inspectional services department has worked with the farmer's market managers at these nine markets to make it possible and safe to have that you know, new product. And especially thinking about Bowdoin Geneva where we're host to many, many immigrant communities who come from island and coastal countries throughout the world. You know, fish has been historically a very important protein. So making that available at these farmers markets with you know, having been caught 36 hours before in, in the waters outside of Massachusetts. And again, that's not farm fish, that's wild. Um, wild caught fish, so that's really excellent. And again, working with the fishermen to make sure that those are affordable varieties and varieties that are similar to some of those fish that people are more fam familiar with. So red snapper is not available because we're not in tropical waters up here, but red fish is a very similar in texture and taste and those kinds of things. Um, and so working to educate consumers about those differences um, and also working with the fishermen to make sure that those, those get translated. Uh, what about the affordability? Mm -hmm. um, so our fishermen and our farmers both work on making their prices more affordable. So they recognize that there are different kind of consumer bases from their markets in downtown areas where they can charge a premium price and bring more premium items. Um, so they really work to kind of tailor what they're bringing to our farmers market to that community and thinking about a price point that both sustains them because they are small business owners and they're not making tons of money. Um, so, so making those decisions from their end, but also thinking about their consumers and how can they sustain and keep their customers in our neighborhood happy. In addition, we accept um, SNAP benefits, that's formally known as food stamps, um, at our farmer's market. So we do have a wireless terminal that allows people to use their EBT card. Um, and we participate in the Boston Bounty Bucks program, which allows people to actually double their dollar at our farmer's market up to $20 purchase. And that applies to both produce and the fish at the market, as well as eggs and bread, which we have. Now, you're from a health center. I'm sure you know the rationale here is that you know, even if this does involve some government subsidies, it's not just to keep people from going hungry, but to make them more healthy. Absolutely, absolutely. We're really looking to help reduce the incidence of obesity and prevent chronic disease overall um, by helping people to meet their dietary needs um, and increase their, the nutritional value of everything that they're eating and really making that as easy as possible, that decision. There are so many barriers for people to change the way that they're eating, um, whether that's from you know, affordability, which we've talked about, but also things that get ingrained about culture. We've lost some of our cooking abilities in, this, in American society and so relearning those kinds of things. And so the easier we can make the procurement of, of foods to get them into the home, the easier it is to overcome some of those other barriers and really assist people in making better decisions about what they're eating. I imagine this is also a neighborhood where many people don't have cars of their own. Mm -hmm. So for them, shopping is something they do almost every day. They're mm -hmm. not just getting in a car and going to the supermarket right. once a Absolutely. week. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're really trying to make sure that, that access is happening in the neighborhood. And we also partner with corner stores in the neighborhood to help them improve their product variety. We've developed a set of food guidelines for them um, that involve 11 categories of food that are really focused on helping a family to go into that store and 
procure all the food for three meals a day and thinking about having a lot of variety in those different categories and a lot of different healthy items. So um, not just fruits and vegetables, but also healthier proteins, lean meats. Um, you know, we've had a store, actually America's Food Basket, right there on Bowdoin Street across from the health center has introduced a variety of healthy products, including non-fat plain yogurt and turkey bacon and all sorts of other alternatives that sit side by side and are marketed equally with those un more unhealthy items. And so we're working with them both on snack foods but also on those grocery items so that people can get access and affordable access right there in their communities. You, you have many corner stores to judge by the exterior. They, they, they must do a brisk trade in, in cigarettes and lottery tickets, mm -hmm. but do you have a tough time talking to them saying, sell more fruits and vegetables and, and, and make them believe yeah. they can make money on yeah. it? Yeah, you know, actually a lot of the store owners are kind of jumping on board. Some There's there's demonstrated successes in some of the larger chains. You know, even Walmart, Stop and Shop, Hannaford's, they've all kind of come up with their branded you know, way of marketing healthier foods and helping customers to navigate the store. And they're seeing how that's changing in, in a broader sense in the grocery industry. And so they're wanting to get on board and they're wanting our assistance in helping their customers and becoming kind of those first adopters so that they say that that's part of their niche and kind of defines them um, in opposition to some of the stores that aren't participating. One other uh, benefit is that uh, the farmer's markets, or I guess they're also a job opportunity for people from the neighborhoods, even if the food is grown outside Boston. Absolutely, absolutely. We actually have um, one vendor participating this summer, Healthy Urban Initiative, and they've partnered with Heaven's Harvest Farm, which is located in New Braintree, which is in the middle of the state, kind of far from here. But the, the folks from Healthy Urban Initiative are re living right here in the city, and their whole mission is getting healthier food into the city through um, community-supported agriculture, farm boxes essentially, um, and also at farmers markets and really promoting that as members of this community. So we should mention briefly every Thursday right near the health center on Bowdoin Street. and It's actually in the parking lot of the health center from 3 to 6.30 every single week. Well, thank you very much for being with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Maura Shur Bofe from the Bowdoin Street Health Center. Still to come, help for homeowners and for home buyers. But first, this message.